<laughs> We're going to talk our way into some spring cleaning and how to make some cash this morning. That's right. This time of year, we all have things to haul off, donate at the mm -hmm. thrift store. But hold on, not so fast. Nicole Mischke spoke with a woman who has made thousands reselling things that she doesn't need anymore. She's sharing her secrets now with I us. I need to hear this. That's right. Nicole Healing Dixon, she's a working mother of two who has managed to make a significant amount of money reselling valuable items from her friends and family that they no longer use uh, by throwing huge fabulous garage sales. It's all about presentation, it's about organization, and it's about making someone feel like my item has value. So to me, if I were to put on a garage sale, let's say, personally, it's not worth it to make $100 at the end of two days. So instead, I'll put the time in on the front end to make it so it's a fun experience for people that they want to spend the time and ultimately want to spend their money. And I think every garage sale we've ever had has resulted in a thousand plus dollars. So here are her biggest secrets to getting the most for your stuff. If you're having a garage sale, she says presentation is everything. Hang items vertically and at eye level as much as possible and put up a mirror so people can try stuff on. Also turn on some music, create that fun environment where people are gonna wanna stay and spend their money. Also think about how you can maybe take some time to refurbish or fix certain items. If you're going to have to spend three hours refurbishing something for $20, maybe your time is worth more than $20 to recoup. But if it's something as easy as just sewing on a button, instead of being able to sell a jacket for $5 because the button is hanging off and it doesn't look good, consider sewing on the button, which might take you two minutes, and maybe you can turn around and sell that jacket for $15. Her last tip for garage sales, she says sell refreshments and bottles of water for a dollar. Garage sellers get hungry and thirsty and that can be a great revenue generator for you as well. Coming up at 5.30, I'm going to share her secrets to selling your items quickly on Facebook Marketplace where you can sell things year round without having to organize that big garage sale like she just talked about. I'll send it back to you guys. I love that. Mm -hmm. And if you know Nicole Healing Dixing, we call her fabulous Nicole because you can just tell she's fabulous. Yes. And she anything that she does is an experience. So she talks about refreshments and you know hanging these items so they look beautiful. And you go and you don't feel like you're at my garage sale. And you come to my house. <laughs> Some people just have that knack. Yes. You know, and it's like, oh gosh, I hadn't thought about that. Hang it at eye level. Put mm -hmm. a mirror out. I'm like. Great idea. My garage sale looks a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's hear. Uh, 17 plastic bins with stuff thrown in, <laughs> make it. offer. <laughs> yep, yep. That's yep. about the extent of it. Dig through, make an offer. But uh, but all of you that garage sale, it's serious business. Yeah, it I is. remember one time having a garage sale and we put in, I think it was on Craigslist or something, mm -hmm. we put starts at 8 a.m. They were parking at like 735. Did, yes. did you see Not my playing. minivan there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Kali's M.O. Oh my gosh, I love Friday afternoons. I noticed this last weekend, Leslie. Uh, coming home Friday from work, you're seeing the garage sale signs oh, out yes. now because oh, the yeah. weather is getting nicer. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they are all over the place. And if you've got a garage sale for this weekend, listen up because we do have one good day Sorry. in the seven-day forecast. Sorry.